Ted Williams here. This dropping force like this with that centrifugal force created by my body rotation that will make the club come out here so that I can get the club head to the ball without using my hands to get the club head to the ball. So in order for this to work, you have to understand there's a two part system to the hip turn. The first part is after you get to the top and it's weightless is to go into a squat in this fashion. Okay, that got my hips to even. So let's take a look at that from behind. The second part is I'm going to come out of that kind of twisted squat position and push up out of it and that will get my hips turning the rest of the way. So when I get to here, I just push up, I'm just going to push up out of it and that will complete my hip turn. So I'm going to put those two movements together, this one and the push up out of it, blend them together. If I can keep my hip turn going, that club will always be trailing my hands. If I stall my hip turn, the club head will shoot out in front of my hands for those thin shots. So let's take a look at this with a golf swing. And that's straight with just a little bit of a fade at the end, which is what I'm going for. And you can see here that when I go this way, my hands are going to be coming to the left as if I'm pulling. But the club head path, but the club head path is, see it's, it's going out to the ball because the club head's behind my hands. So when I keep my club head behind my hands because my, my hip turn is just going to keep going, if I can keep my hip turn going, that will bring the club head into the ball from inside to out, even though I feel like I'm pulling it because my hands are going this way. But I won't be pulling it because I'm not putting any torque on the club. There's no twisting of the club head. And you can really see that here with this. It's up here. There's no twist. I haven't, I haven't done any twisting. No twisting. No twisting. No twisting to the sh here. And, and no twisting on the foul. Maybe a little bit of a baby helicopter finish. Kind of to match a little baby helicopter take back or feeling. It's a feel versus really probably won't actually be tilting the club out this way. So it's going to feel like you're pulling it, but you won't pull it because you keep your hip turn going, the club head will behave. You can see my baby waggles. That's perfect. That one just went perfectly straight. It didn't have any fade on it. That's fine. If it fades a little, it'll go straight. That's all good. So the things that you have to do to learn these movements is first of all, you have to understand kind of this idea of, of a zombie walk, like this. So your left, right, left. Left, right, left. From here, until I, I've got to get that left, right, left, left, right, left, here, got to get, got to get here, and then down, and that creates the anterior stretch in that right shoulder, and that also keeps the club head back and around, and so that it doesn't get out in front of your hands, 
and then you have to get the feeling for the posterior as well. So it's left, right, left, right, left. And then, so there's posterior stretch here, but I'm going to go deeper into that stretch when I drop down. And you can really feel it, this is a three pound ball. conscious of not doing any twisting of the club. Doing that stretch. And do it with the left, feel the posterior stretch and even more stretch. No, no twisting. Again, two part turn. One, and then push up out of it, two. And that hip turn will never stall out, and therefore you'll you'll never have to do anything with your hands to get the club head to and through the ball. And that one was dead straight to maybe the slightest little bit of baby fade. Ted Williams signing off.